Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to Friday Night Circle and this is a short video on our new initiative, Fasting Circle. Fasting Circle is an initiative with which we hope to encourage people all around the world to start mustahad fasting. We have a collection of hadiths from Thawab al by Sheikh Sadduq which outline the unimaginable benefits of fasting every single day, day by day, in the month of Rajab. If you're following our social media platforms on Twitter, Instagram, and if you're connected to us through WhatsApp, we will be sharing these hadiths in beautifully made posters by our team every single day. Every day, it'll outline the unimaginable reward that fasting on that day or for that many days in Rajab has. If you're looking to get the reward of day number 30, then inshallah, you can start fasting from day number one. Just to get the ball rolling, we have a hadith from the Prophet of God and his conversation with his Lord when he ascended to the heavens during his Mi'raj. Oh Ahmad, if only you knew what pleasures and benefits were for you in hunger, silence, and solitude. So the Prophet asked him, O oh Lord, what is the benefit in hunger? The Lord answered, Wisdom, steadfastness and piety, nearness to me, a lasting sadness, not spending a lot, truthfulness, and not caring for hardships or easiness in life. The Lord said, O oh Ahmad, do you know when does a servant get close to me? The Prophet replied, No, Lord. The Lord replied, when he is in a state of hunger or in sujood. That was just one of the many hadiths that we have in our narrations on fasting. Just before we end the short video, I wanted to just briefly mention the rulings of our marjas, of our grand scholars on mustahad fasting. The opinions are quite similar, but do check with your respective marja. But I will give the particular rulings for Sayyid Ali Khamenei and Sayyid Ali Sistani and I will also link them in the description below. The rulings are as follows. You cannot keep a mustahad fast if you have any previous qaza fasts. If you have any obligatory fasts which you have missed and you need to make them up, well then you have to do them before you can start keeping mustahad fasts. If a believer is capable and is able to keep a mustahab fast, well then, at any time of the day, if he has not done anything which invalidates his fast, such as eating or any other activity, well, he can make the intention at that very time and begin his mustahab fast. Also, if he is approached in the state of mustahab fasting by another believer with, with an invitation to eat food with him, He's allowed to open his fast with that believer. In fact, it is recommended that he opens his fast with this believer. This is part of the will of Allah and it is showing obedience to Allah. Not fasting how we would like, but fasting how he would like. The traditions on opening a fast with a believer are found in Wasail al-Shia and it is in, in many Islamic books of law. We are being advised by Allah himself to open our mustahad fasts if we have been invited by a fellow believer to open them. Also, if you're keeping a mustahad fast, it is not obligatory for you to complete it. If at any time of the day you feel weakness or you don't feel like completing the fast, you are allowed to open your fast. Again, links to the office of Sayyid Ali Sistani and Sayyid Ali Khamenei will be in the description below where these issues are addressed. So please do refer to the original rulings. May God bless all of you and inshallah give you and me the tawfiq to fast together this Rajab, inshallah. Thank you for your time, take care and see you next time.